Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press, and we make the Publish Press Revisions plugin. We get a lot of questions about how revisions work in WordPress, and sometimes even about what they are. Well, many of us spend a lot of time working on our content, and we spend hours making sure the spelling, the grammar, the punctuation are all as good as possible. We're worried about losing content. What happens if our browser crashes, if the internet goes down, or if someone else edits our post and makes a mistake? Well, Fortunately, WordPress has the solution, revisions. The revisions feature in WordPress can help you sleep peacefully at night. When you write in WordPress, your changes will be automatically saved and you can easily restore any previous version of your content. You can see the revisions link on the right hand side here. This shows that I've made several changes to this content already. If you're using the new Gutenberg editor, you can click on this revisions link to see where your revisions are. And if you're still using the old classic editor, well, this is what the revisions area will look like. It will be in almost the same place, but it will look slightly different. This particular classic editor post is from the events calendar plugin, and you can see that I've made several changes to this event. It doesn't really matter whether you're using Gutenberg or the classic editor, if you click on the revisions link in your right sidebar, then you're going to see an identical screen. The old content will be on the left in red with changes marked in dark red. This is the old content that's been removed. And on the right side, you'll see the new content, the latest revision with what's been added in the brighter green color. So by default, WordPress will show you a comparison of the two most recent versions. However, you can compare any revisions. Use this slide bar across the top and you can browse back through previous revisions. And to compare them, click on this checkbox at the top and you'll be able to compare any revisions that you want. If you uncheck that box, you will be stuck with the most recent version on the right side. If you do decide you want to replace your current post with an old version, here's what to do. Make sure this compare any two revisions box is unchecked. Then using the slider, browse to the revision that you want to restore. And then you're going to see a blue Restore this revision button on the right side. Click this button. You're now going to be taken back to the post editing screen. That's it. The process is finished. This can be a little confusing because there's no success message. However, you don't even need to click update. You don't need to save your post or make any other changes. Simply clicking that restore this revision button is enough to publish the old version. We've just shown you how to restore previous versions. However, WordPress doesn't really offer a way to see what those revisions look like before you approve them. To see what those older revisions look like, you can install the Publish Press Revisions plugin. And then when you're looking at revisions, you're going to see a preview slash restore link across the top. So if you want to see what that old version looks like, you can scroll back using this toolbar and click on preview. And you're going to see what that older version actually looks like live on your site. If you're ready to make it go live, you can use this red toolbar across the top. You can click compare to go back to the screen we were just on and comparing the two versions. You can click view published post to see what the actual live version looks like or if this is the version you actually want to make live again, you can click on restore. The Publish Press Revisions plugin provides an easy way to preview the old revisions and also to manage and delete them. On this comparison screen, we looked at the preview button. You can also see the manage button up at the top as well. If you click on manage, you're going to see a table with all of the previous revisions for this particular post. You can see the preview link here, and you can also delete some of the older versions as well. Some people do recommend doing this because if you run a busy site, 
these revisions can store up in your database and make your site load a little more slowly, particularly in the admin area of the site. So revisions are an awesome feature of WordPress and I can't imagine building a site without them. They really have saved my backside many times when my browser has crashed or I've made a mistake and I've had to go back in and restore a revision. If you are using revisions seriously and want to make sure that your content is safe, I would also highly recommend installing the Publish Press Revisions plugin. In addition to the features we've seen in this video, the Publish Press Revisions plugin has a lot of extra cool features. For example, you can force some users to submit a revision for approval without being able to publish it automatically, and then you can moderate that revision. You can also take a revision and schedule it to go live later. 